Hey everyone, so we got something very special for you today. We're fishing at Onion Lake at Roddick's Ranch. And like most of the lakes in BC, this is a private lake. And uh, the, we're about three or four hours from Vancouver. And there's some pretty good rainbow trout fishing here. This is actually our third day at the lake. Um, the last two days we've been catching fish between 18 and 20 inches long. And those are, you, you know, there's some somewhat on the smaller size for this lake apparently and we've actually seen pictures of fish up to 30, 34 inches long which is around 80 centimeters. Uh, yesterday um, one of our friends actually lost one fish that's up to about five or six pounds unfortunately and uh, this is our last day we're gonna do some more fishing and hopefully get a big one. Um, the weather has been somewhat unstable uh, the cows has been moving today and uh, looks like it's gonna start raining anytime uh, and uh, the, the wind is quite strong as well so you know with unstable weather you never know what's going to happen there's no hatch going on i'll start with uh, a sink tip uh, with a leech at the end and just i'll i'll anchor and strip around a little bit and see what happens and uh hopefully we can show you some nice fish today wind blowing like that it's always pretty hard to control the boat that's why we have two anchors we have the double anchor system one on the front one on the back so when you're fishing the boat doesn't spin around like that and you get a headache and this way you can always keep the wind from your back as well when you cast and and since I'm not a very good caster that's a big advantage you can get the line really far out So our friend Carlo over there is fishing with cormorants and uh, he's usually pretty good at it. Yesterday he must have gotten 20, 30 fish and whereas we got about 10 fish. So I'm gonna start with a little leech and if he starts getting fish over there, you know, that's when we know when to quit over here and head over there and try to change our tactic. It's hard to believe that we're in the middle of June and the weather is still somewhat on the cold side. There's, there's a fish. Oh, a little guy though. Ah, that's probably the smallest one of the weekend. Jumpy little guy. Well, but they, they do fight. <laughs> Yo, they do fight pretty well. It's not a bad size. Um, net. So again, even though the fish is not very big, we, we use net just for Easy fish handling, you don't put the fish. This is a catch and release net. There you go, the little guy. And uh, pretty typical for these these um, interior rainbows to have you know not many spots on the back. Well, that was a good start. It's not very big. Uh, let's let it go. Oh, it's ready. There it goes. Okay, let's see if we can get a bigger one. I'm just letting the fly sink down a little bit. We're not fishing very deep water. This is about, I'll say about 10, 12 feet uh, deep. But uh, the overall, the lake is not very deep. It's about the, the deepest part is only about just over 20 feet. So it's a it's a fairly easy lake to fish if you you know if you don't like to fish deep water. Oh, big, oh again, not very big. Same size. Jumping towards me. Oh, came off. Ah, oh well. Not very big though, around the same size again. I wonder if there's a school of them down there just right in front of me. Doesn't really re represent what this lake has to offer. Um, our friend Carl there apparently has 
two fish on already so we'll give it a go for a little bit more over here and if it doesn't work we have to head over there or maybe we have to start trolling and we get really desperate My arms, is getting, my arms are getting a bit sore so I think we're gonna do a bit of trolling and uh, make our, slowly make our way over to the other guys and see how they're doing now if you ever get really lazy and you know want, still want to catch fish trolling is probably the best way to go just put on the big leech pad and just troll around it's not really fly fishing but it, it is pretty effective and uh, you don't have to do too much work just bang your fly at the end but lots of fly line out and slowly move the boat around and sooner or later you're getting to a fish so let's try that and uh, make our way over there and uh, hopefully we can show you some bigger fish than the other ones the other small ones we got earlier and always hold them to your rod because these fish do pull pretty hard so and yesterday we had one fish I almost put my rod in There's another one. Oh, I thought trolling would work. Guess not. So, how many fish? Eight. So, I think we'll do some indicated fishing now. How deep is it over here? Uh, about 16 feet of water. Okay. Can we have some flies? So, oh. what's working? These little guys. Is that size 18? 18, 16. Thank you very much. Those. Uh, was that tiny? This was. This has been working pretty good this morning. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the depth of the indicator. So Carl said we've got to be one to two foot. One or two feet above the bottom, and that's where the fish are. So, 16 feet deep, and we're gonna set around 14 feet. And the way to do this is, we'll peg the indicator in, and this is a quick release one, so you, you just you put it in the loop. So when you get a fish on, the tension will pull the loop straight and if it will come up and this indicator will actually slide down so we don't have the indicator all the way hang all the way on top and you wouldn't be able to land the fish so we'll put the indicator in we'll attach a little weight a little weight onto the swivel so we can measure the depth just like flow fishing really Oh, okay, a little too deep. And you want this thing to sink about one to two feet below the surface. So that when you take the weight off, you know that the fly is actually one to two feet above the bottom. That looks about right. Okay, the fly out slowly sinks down to the bottom and what we're looking for is that indicator going down below the surface and that's when you strike through this guy here.
was a big one. Finally, oh, jumpy guy. Oh, geez, geez, geez. <laughs> Oh, it's fighting pretty hard. Let's get this lining first. Okay, is it ready? There you go. Oh, that's a fat fish. Look at that. Beautiful, look at the color of it, look at all the spots. Beautiful fish. Oh, this one's a bit smaller. Very big. So one thing about these fish, big or small, they're really pretty. Look at that. This one's a small one. Again, it's a beautiful looking fish. That's nice. That's five so far for me. And there's fish everywhere. They're jumping all over the place. Two, nine hooks and six to the boat. Okay, so we caught a few on the indicator and uh, the action has kind of tapered a little bit. And we just talked to our friend Mark on the other side and uh, he's been getting quite a few fish and it seems like the fish are coming up for dry fly over there. So. We are going to head over there and check it out and uh, see if we can get some fish on a different technique. That's my number 12. Jeez, that was really close to the boat. When we went for ooh, this size fish too. Yeah, they're all like that here. Yeah. Oh, there's another one on the other side of your boat. Oh, came off. Oh well. Come off. Came off. Check the line just in case it's really really snaggy around us. Lots of branches sticking out. There's fish jumping all around us. <laughs> They're in there too, like. Oh, I'm too scared to cast in there. You have to cast to the wood. Yeah. If they're lying in right next to the wood. Yeah. If you land your fly next to the wood, it'll they'll take out immediately. Really? Okay. Oh, 
this one. Holy That's a little guy. <laughs> Not very safe. There it is, another nice one. Oh, again, really close to the boat. I, I guess they must have just chased me right in. There's the loon. jumping in there now. Well, when we first got here, into this jungle here, there's sticks sticking out everywhere. Um, the fish were just biting furiously, so you can see them jumping. Oh, there's one. I was gonna say the fish have stopped biting, but uh, this little guy, has proven me wrong. Very small, tiny fish. Oh, that looks like the first one we got today. See, that's probably the smallest one today, actually. Tiny, but. Uh, Earlier we were getting lots of bigger ones and it seems like the bite has kind of stopped, tapered off now. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and that seems to be the case in the last couple of days as well. So we're going to head back to the lunch. Well that wraps up our fishing at Rodex Range for this weekend. And uh, for more information on fishing at Onion Lake and the ranch, please check out the video feature at the end of this video. And for more fishing information, please check out our website at www.fishingrut.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment if you have any ideas or questions and I will be happy to answer them. So until next time, good luck fishing.